What's up, y'all? It's Brian from East Coast Kelly's. Let's make easy crock pot Swedish meatballs. Let's get started. All right, real quick ingredient list. We've got our oven preheated at 350. We got one pound of ground beef. We're using the Young Outlaw Ranch here in North Carolina. We got W sauce. We're gonna use about a quarter of a teaspoon of that. One egg. It says um, basically we want one small onion, but I'm gonna use minced onion and some onion powder. Uh, I may even chop up some real onion as well. Uh, we're gonna do uh, salt and pepper to taste. It tells me about half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper, uh, half a cup of uh, Italian breadcrumbs, and a quarter cup of milk. So let's get started. So let me be brutally honest here. The recipe calls for two pounds of meatballs. I realized when I did this that I was only making one pound of meatballs, so I ended up going to the freezer and using some store-bought stuff. I do that from time to time for my wife, who doesn't necessarily like doing all this, that I do. And when I mix them together after it was all said and done, I could definitely tell a difference. And there's something about using fresh, locally sourced beef. It made a difference. So you know, to cook these things, it's the international 350, 30 minutes. I love doing these in the smoker, but that's usually for things like meatball subs, so I decided to do it in the oven this time. Okay, now that these are done and cooled, we're just gonna put them in a container, and these will keep at least three days as far as ahead of time for prep. I'll be coming home and setting this around lunchtime. See you in a couple days. Okay, so it's really early. I forgot to post or record as I was putting this together, but it's really simple. It's two tablespoons of A1 steak sauce, our <clears throat> one can of beef broth, and our one can of cream of mushroom soup, and our Lipton onion soup mix. And then we're just gonna whisk this up. And like I said, I've got it in this little container because I'm gonna have my son dump all this together today while I'm at work, put it on low, it'll go for six hours, so from noon, until 6 p.m., 5, 6 o'clock, and it'll be good, all right? So come back once it's been six hours in the crock pot. Okay, y'all, we've been going on low for five and a half hours. I just stirred this and forgot to um, show you. This is five hours in. I'm gonna turn it up to high for the last hour because I really want this to bubble. Again, I've got two different types of meatballs, the ones that I made and then the store-bought. You can tell the difference in the texture. It's all good, no one's gonna know any different. You can see this has been bubbling, slowly cooking. I'm gonna give it a taste test. And again, here in about half an hour, I'm gonna put in the sour cream and uh, we'll give that a shot while I cook the egg noodles. Okay, so we turn it up on high. Here's one cup of sour cream going and we're going to stir that in. I did add some Unky's garlic and herb and a little bit of the savory garlic. It's not out yet, but be sure to give them a follow so that way you can get it when it does. We'll stir this in and clean that out. We're going to cook some egg noodles. We'll see when we get back. This is going to go on high another half an hour to kind of just separate all that and get it all creamy like a gravy. Okay, noodles are done. We're going to strain these and if you don't have one of these... These are pampered chef, but then you just put them in with your gravy and your meatballs and we'll mix that up. You'll see it when we're all done. All right, so there it is all mixed up with the mushrooms and the meatballs and the sauce. You'll see it's a little runny. I give it about 10 minutes to thicken up and uh, it'll pull into those noodles as well. So I hope you enjoy it. We love it. It's a family favorite in our house and shout out to Jackson for putting this all together today. So that way we would have dinner tonight.